All right, guys, here we go. It's uh, 5.40, September, pitch black. Very hard to see. So there's people here. There's Robert, there's Benny, there's Mike, uh, there's JR. We're going to Montauk Fluke Fishing. I'm gonna go a little slow. I'm gonna put the radar on right now. Going in the dark, should get, should have light as we're going. Um, we'll see how we do. All right, here we go, guys. And as you saw in that dark intro, and it's not that much lighter here, about uh, 10 minutes later, uh, yeah, we're going to Montauk. It's myself, and we got clients, Robert, JR, Mikey, and Benny, and a fantastic trip. And by the way, this trip was filmed September 14th, um, and we are experiencing probably the best fishing we have all year for fluke in the ocean and in the bays, or our bays, Block Island Sound, Gardner's Bay. It's just been the best two to three weeks of the season. Uh, as many of you know, July and August was really tough because of that upwell, but things have thankfully turned around. And I still have open dates before the end of September. If anybody wants to book me, I'll have a description, a link to the in the description to how you can do that. I also have my Blackfish subscriber contest, October 15th. That's going on. You have till September 30 to enter. I'll include a link to the video that gives you the details on how you can enter that in the description this trip was about these guys were not fishing for meat now they wanted to bring home fluke fillets three of the four guys everyone but mikey owns a boat they fluke fish a lot they have a season-long contest going on as well biggest fish out of for the entire year i think there's eight guys in the contest is 23 inches that's going to be easily beat today by both mikey and robert and yeah, and they have some bets going. You're going to hear a lot of talk about it. They have $20 bets here and there, most fish, biggest fish, all that good stuff. But really, it's going to be about the fact that these guys, they could catch keeper fluke in their neck of the woods. They wanted to hopefully get bigger fish. So we started on the south side in the ocean. We got six keepers, and we decided to make the move around the point into the bay and hit some of my honey holes where we have bigger fluke, where we've caught bigger fluke this year, and we were going to be rewarded. In the first instance, we're in the ocean, we're just starting to drift, right before a bit, you'll see a lot of fog in a minute, but when we first got there, bright and sunny, we're gonna have Mikey hook into a sea robin. You're gonna hear me yell at him for the first of about 50 times on this trip about high sticking his rod before JR hooks into a 22 inch keeper. Mikey's on yeah. Game. Fluke or? Yeah. No, bouncing. No. no bouncing. No. You're high sticking that rod. You're going to break it. Keep it. Yeah. Keep uh, keep it straight if you can. Bring it here. What's all these sea robins here? Yeah, I don't know. No good. No bueno. Blue fuse. Is that what Benny had to see robin on? Yeah. Who's on a fluke? Any good? Wait, I don't know your rod. Uh, not really. Ooh. Uh, he's pulling there. Might be a keeper. Twenty dollars is coming here, gentlemen. Hey John, I'll give you fifty if you knock it off with the net. You got it. <laughs> Ooh, nice fish. I'll take the first twenty. That's mofos. a keep keeper. Nice shot. Thank you. I got the first one. Hey, come on, guys. And yeah, JR is going to hold the lead for the longest fish bet for quite a while with that fish, 22-inch fish. We're going to reset, and we're going to see a couple more things here. Uh, you heard me scolding Mikey on the last clip about high-sticking the rod. We're going to see a double hook up here, Mikey and JR. And yeah, we're going to yell at Mikey again for high-sticking. And then uh, a consequence of the rule change in New York with fluke going to 19 and a half inches. Uh, what feels like the hundredth fish we caught that's going to fall in that no man's land between 19 and 19 and a half and has to go back. Uh, JR is going to be the recipient of that fish. Come on. Oh. Jay, you're not allowed to get on that fish. Small? Yes. The keeper? Mikey's on. There's no head shake now. Uh, Mikey, don't keep the rod that high, brother. You're gonna break the rod. Uh, it might be there. Okay. I got a 
got the slack out, I, I opened my bail. Yeah, you foul hooked him. Yeah. Uh, little short. short little short. No, nope, don't let him. Okay. Just get him in. I'll deal with him in a second. Let's deal with this fish first. I'm 90% sure your fish is short. Let's see. Calm down, buddy. Look at that. 19 and a quarter. Oh, he's short. Little short. Just over 19. He would have been a keeper. And conversely, Benny's going to hook into his first keeper of the day, and it's going to be just over the 19 and a half mark. Uh, we're dealing, as you can see now, with a ton of fog. Got the trolling motor down, too. You see it right there, helping us stay on the right path. I'm using the hummingbird there to keep the boat on its proper course using the autopilot function. And yeah, it's going to re it's going to pay off for Benny with his first keeper. It's very abrupt. I just wish I could see land. I'm having a hard time. Oh, that's a big fish. Reel down. Come on, Benny. Feels okay. Slow down, Benny. It's not a race. Go nice and easy. Got weight? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Well, when you when you said it, I thought it was big. Now I'm not convinced. Yeah. It's a fish, though. Yeah, and it's a fluke. Oh, it's, it's maybe a keeper. You got to bring him up a little higher, Benny. It looks like a keeper. Yeah, I'm JR's. I'm happy. It's not bigger than JR's. No. Well, it's not. <laughs> Likely a keeper, though. Okay. You got him on the bucktail. Definitely. Good job. Benny. He's wide. Job. I mean, it's bigger than your 19 and a quarter, so I have to assume this is going to be good. Looks like 20. 20 and a half, maybe pushing I 21. I like jersey, I like that. <laughs> 20 and a quarter. You might, be, you might be right. No, 19 and a, look at that. What? 19 and three quarters. Oh, he just made it. Betty with a keeper. It's a keeper though, Let's I'll take go. it. And we got those two quick fish and then it's about an hour of nothing but sea robins and sharks. Thick fog, we can't see other boats. Our buddy Walter's out here, he's doing very well. Less than a mile from where we're fishing. He's gonna text me the coordinates. We're gonna run over and Robert's gonna be instantly rewarded. Jeez, and we're at point one, point two. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep us at this speed. If at some, if for some reason, okay, I'm coming with the net. If for some reason, Benny, Benny, come to the back of the boat so I can slide through. Thank you. This better, be, this better be better. I don't think that's a fluke, to be honest. It's a fluke. I might be a keeper. Nice job. It wasn't fighting like a fluke, though, huh? Yeah, it is. I don't think it is. Stop, Twenty. Twenty on the nose. I gave I said we go. Ooh. Good one? Yeah, that one good. Alright, back up. You good. It's okay. I saw the weight when you said it. Looking at your reel. It's not coming up super easy. Well, that's a given. Oh, it's a good fish. Nice. On the blue again. Thank you. Dude. Yeah, man. Thank you for that poison tail. Yeah, South, South Shore tackle. Mike Lang. Not on, oh, I don't get any money for this, but I'll include a link in his, in the description for anybody that wants to order his stuff. His stuff is great. Yeah, I think we're going to. It's 21 and a half, maybe. Hey, I've seen your fish before. Let's face it, you don't actually know you have anything on there. 20. Hey, Rock, stop being jealous over there. Just fish. My wife 20, 21 and an eighth. Yeah. You're off? Yeah. Stay on, Mikey. That's a good fish. Mike, keep that tip lower. Don't. Oh, hey, uh, don't pump it up that high. Oh, it's a good fish. Swim them in, swim them in. Good job. Nice, Mike. Fuck you, 730. Hey! No cursing. No cursing. He's... Oh, he caught it on the blue bucktail. Yep. Nice fish, Mikey. 20 and an eighth. Nice! Mikey, keep Mikey. Keep yeah, Mike. 
Yeah, everybody has one. Now at this point, everyone on the boat has a keeper, and like I said in the intro, these guys were out here to catch bigger fish than what they catch back in Staten Island and Jersey, Northern Jersey. So listen to this conversation. We are going to make a radical move, leave fish, um, to find bigger fish. To go run to the other spot? Yeah, he asked me how long is the other uh, It's spot. about 10 miles to, uh, or so, maybe 11 miles away. 10, 11 miles, uh, 30 miles an hour. We got to get around the point. It, it, you know, half an hour is a good, good, good thing. We'll, let, let's finish this trip and just do that because we, we have fish to eat. Let, let's try for a big one because I'm not excited by... No, it seems like it, it really calmed down over here. And it really slowed down too. I mean, we had, a, we had an okay bite for a while, but it's kind of slowed. Yep, so we made the difficult decision to leave fish to find more fish. There's my buddy Walter. That's him, his son, and his grandson. They've limited, believe it or not. They, they've had a good day. They were pounding that one little spike. See a lot of boats here on the south side. We're going to turn the point. We're going to go about 11, 12 miles into the bay. And uh, we're giving Walter the details, right? They shared intel with us. We, I shared intel with them that we're going to go where I think we can catch big fish. You guys are going to see them there as well. They're going to follow us out there. And it's, we're not there long uh, when it's going to pay off in a great way. Robert's going to hook into a monster. That's good. Okay. Oh, I'm on two. You're on two? No, I'm off. I want to get my line up to get his fish. I'm coming with the net. Yeah. There. I think it's a fluke. It's gonna be a better fish. Good. Remember, we came here to get you a big fish. That's why we came here. You broke off? No, no, for the for the keeper. Let's get him in the net. <laughs> Dude, this this has potential. Yeah. It's it's those individual head shakes that the big fish have. He's, he's really heavy, unless I snagged him. I don't think you snagged him. He's fighting straight down. Yep. Yep. 26, 27 inch fluke is my guess. Boy, oh, it's sure. a fluke. Come on, buddy. I'm swimming right to you. You All sure? Right. Maybe yeah. we could have Mikey grab the rod. Mikey, you want to grab the net? Big fish, dude. Big fish. Oh, Swim them in. Swim them in. Swim them in. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Hey! Job, bro. Wow! Wow! It's a fish. Wow. Really big. That's a monster. Good job, Did I say 26, 27? Yeah, I might absolutely. might be wrong. Might be more. We'll see. Yeah, I think. Woo -hoo -hoo. Look at that! It's a halibut. Yeah, he's uh, 27 20, and three quarters, 28, 28, no, right there. a little more. 28 and a half. Yeah. Rock, congrats. And it doesn't always happen where a plan comes together, but it did in this case. And we gave that uh, fish a quick weight on the digital scale, came in at eight pounds, 10 ounces, and then we released them. Uh, these guys didn't want to keep any of the big ones. Robert was not done though. Two drifts later, he hooked into another good fish. Any weight? Yeah, a little bit. It's a long way down. Yeah, I know. a better fisherman because he makes me try even harder. That's his goal. He puts hard oh, pressure on me. Keeper. Holy shit, that's a big one. Good job. <laughs> High hook, big fish, and it, it, karma. He let the. Uh, hold on, watch, watch that bucktail. Watch that. I'll, uh, put him down so we don't break the line. Oh yeah. There you go, Benny. Ooh, any good, Benny? Okay, I'm coming up. It is. Boom, boom, boom. 
It looks like it has a little weight, not, not, not a crazy amount. Might be a 20, 21 inch fish, maybe. Any second keeper? Yeah, right there. Slide them in. Keep one more? Yeah, absolutely. And he doesn't like to take fish home if he didn't catch it. I mean, he's grunting, so it's got weight though, huh? Yeah, it's got weight. Yeah, you tail rough. Yeah, something's going on. Oh, what in the heck? That's a oh, oh my god. That's a big sea big robin pile hooked. Yeah, it's big. Is it? Yeah. It. Yeah. And hey, I intentionally kept that sea robin in. Mikey was struggling with a couple of sharks, that foul hook sea robin. Every time he thought he had a big fish, it was something bad, but that's about to change. Literally, we're gonna release that fish. He's going to drop, and he's going to hook into the second biggest fish of the trip. Trying to find it, and then I found it the, on- The New York Rangers? Yeah, but not the Rangers. I know they were, used to be on ESPN. Is that a fish? Yeah, it's probably a piece of- no, <laughs> no, that looks like a float, Mikey. dude, that's a big fish. Nice and easy. This this is his biggest, this is his biggest fish of the day, whatever it is. Bigger than that shark. Right. And I think it's a fluke. It and I know I said that last time, but this time I believe it. Yeah, it's a fluke this time. Remember to swim into the net, Mikey. Is that what I do? Yep. Swim Dude, this got potential. Oh. Keep that tip a little lower. Wow. Ooh, JR's go. on too. There we go. Nice, Jay. Oh, big fluke, man. Swim him in. Oh, Mikey. You might have beat, oh, you might have oh, beat the. <laughs> uh, you beat All right. Rob. You might have. Look at that. Yes. Let me get the other net. Let's go. Get the net. I got this. Defeatist attitude. Yeah, you, you know. got something good too. Yeah, I know. Reverse psychology. I knew what I was doing. Nice one, Mikey. Thanks, Rob. Thanks, Rob. Holy you cow! Know, I, believe I believe in you, Mike. Mikey. All we time. all believe. I'm just talking. I'm not uh, getting uh, any I, head shake anymore. I really didn't. I'm not getting any head shake. Anymore. Dude, that might be bigger than. That's a big fish. Oh that my god. Yeah, I'm not getting any shake anymore. Listen to that. Mikey 20 bucks. I don't think it's a fluke. I don't know what it is. He's not fighting. I know he's not. Foul hook maybe? You set that hook good. I thought I did. Does it have weight though? Oh, it's yeah, a fluke. Huge. Oh, it's a keeper. There's your limit, buddy. Right. Yeah, he just came up fucking. That's Dude. another nice one. <laughs> Yeah, and those were going to be the last two fish to end the trip. Mikey's was not quite as big as Rob's. Rob won all the money. He won the side bet with JR, the $5 first guy to limit bet, the $20 from each guy for biggest fish, the $20 from each guy for most fish. So yeah, he won a, he won a bunch of money from his friends, but they, these guys had a great time. I had a great time. These guys were fantastic. A uh, lot of fish caught, and that strategy paid off. You know, we, we had enough keepers to make us happy on the, uh, you know, on the south side in the ocean and then we came back to my gardener's bay spots targeting big fish and once in a blue moon even a blind squirrel finds a nut we got lucky we got some big fish big fish of the day again went to robert that uh, 28 and a half inch or just shy of nine pounds mikey's fish was over seven pounds so a really good fish and a bunch of fish in that like 22 inch territory so Really good job by all these guys. Remember to enter the contest. Uh, I'll have a link in the description to the Blackfish subscriber contest. You got to go into that video comment and say I'm in. And uh, yeah, and if you want to book me for one of these trips, this is the best fishing all year, what we're experiencing right now. I'll have uh, a link in the description to how you can reach out to me to book a trip. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. If you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing. And if you're not a member of the channel, please consider becoming a member. Lots of perks associated with that, including free member trips and early access to all videos.